O'Leary Ventures chairman and Shark Tank investor Kevin O'Leary and nationally syndicated host Dana Lash joins us. Now, Dana Lash, uh, Kamala Harris almost lost a hand, a finger, who knows what. Uh, are you worried about her around heavy machinery? I'm worried about her just around the country, Jesse. I was just actually try not to cry laughing when you're playing these clips, because if ever there was evidence that aliens exist, it's her. I mean, walking in a factory, she's like an alien in a human suit. I've never seen anyone force like a human interaction the way she does. It's like, oh, it's sharp and shiny. Can I touch it? And the way that she interacts with people, like everyday average people about everyday average experiences is entirely just like completely supernatural. It's weird. It's just not normal. She just does not connect with people. She doesn't have political acumen. She doesn't have the relatability. She doesn't have this, this commonality. There's no, people do not see themselves in her. She kind of had a privileged upbringing, which we talked about prior. So I, I don't want her around, I mean, the country, much less heavy machinery. I don't even want her behind the wheel of an automobile. <laughs> it's just too dangerous for her. Well, thankfully, if she is elected, the beast will take her wherever where she goes. Kevin, uh, when, what do you have for breakfast? Do you have a spinach omelet? I don't care what she eats for breakfast. I'm still trying to figure out why she wants to raise taxes at 28%, <laughs> why she wants to go after unrealized capital gains. What about the $25,000 inflation idea for houses? That's nuts. All of this policy stuff got lost in this crazy narrative, the circus going on right now. I'm telling you, as an investor, I'm getting freaked out here because there's no information anymore. It's just this crazy rhetoric going in the last days. I would think she should do the Rogan deal and start talking about what she really means. Price gouging on grocery stores at 3.5% margin. I mean, 88% of jobs in America come from companies, not the government. And I mean, am I the only guy that cares about this? This is nuts. It's completely nuts. I'm just throwing my hand up saying she's got six or seven days left. Please tell me what you want to do, because I have no idea. Well, I have no <laughs> idea what you're doing. No idea. And she doesn't have any idea what Joe Biden's doing, because Joe Biden, apparently he escaped, got loose, talked to a cameraman somewhere, and said half the country who's voting for Donald Trump, human garbage. Listen to this, Dana. For Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. The only garbage I see out there are his supporters. That's not going to wow. do well. Somebody notify the orderlies. The <laughs> orderlies need to be notified. They, he's gotten loose. The, Joe Biden has gotten loose. That That's... Wow. I mean, I guess there goes the live, laugh, love, you know, campaign of Harris and, you know, post Biden. I guess that goes the there goes the dignity in the White House. Is he a plant? Because at this point, all of this stuff, if I were him and I was mad that I was usurped and essentially tossed aside in a very non-democratic fashion with the side that always screams about the democratic process in this republic, um, and I was mad about it and wanted to get even, I would literally do the exact same things that he has been doing up until even that soundbite, including that soundbite, Jesse, because going after those, that alienates even people in the middle who may not be Trump supporters, but they see Biden out there like, wait a minute, this is Biden, Harris Biden. And he's out there calling half of the country garbage. That's completely the opposite of everything this campaign has been lecturing about from the get-go. I mean, if Harris doesn't go out and repudiate, I guess she agrees. I mean, isn't that Dems de rules, right, Jesse? That's how that works. So she has to go and repudiate her boss. Otherwise, it sticks. Yeah, well, that's if she's asked about it. She might just skate by. You already saw how much the media is in the tank. This is a Hillary moment. O'Leary, this is what she got roasted for, the deplorable comment. And this is just like a week after Biden said about Trump, we got to lock him up. No, it is the deplorables moment again. I'm really surprised he said that because when you be when you're called um, human garbage, it motivates you to get off your rear end, off the sofa, and go and vote. I, I wouldn't do that in the 43 counties where people are saying, "Ah, it may be raining. I don't think I'm going to do it." But I just the president of the United States just called me garbage. I'm a little pissed off about that. I, I think I'm going to go stand in line and I'm going to vote. I, I think that was a mistake, and I'm sure it's going to get a ton of social media tomorrow. I mean, I know he wishes he could take that back. He is the president of all that garbage. Remember, <laughs> yeah. 
He represents everybody, everybody, including the garbage. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> yep, that is crazy. He's crazy. This race is crazy. And it's seven days away until Election Day. And apparently O'Leary's going to wait in line to vote right now. Thanks, guys. Dana, good Already to see voted. you. Already voted. Four votes in my house. Bank it. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.